What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be walking through how to calibrate the compass and the IMU on your DJI Mavic Air 2. Now chances are, if you're stumbling across this video, it's because you're having an issue with your drone, so let's cut the fluff and get right into things. To provide a little bit of context here, the Mavic Air 2 has various different sensors that are crucial to its operation. Two of the most important are the compass and the IMU, both of which require some sort of calibration that needs to be done to ensure that your drone flies correctly. The onboard compass simply tells the drone which way it's flying like a handheld compass would work, and the times that you would need to calibrate the compass would include when the app prompts you to, which will be promptly displayed in the top left corner, before you fly your drone for the very first time out of the box, after traveling with the drone in a vehicle, after any minor or major crashes, and if you ever find that your drone just isn't flying properly. Now on the other hand, the IMU is a bit more complicated to explain. It stands for the Inertial Measurement Unit, and it's a single electronic unit that houses two different sensors. The first is the accelerometer triad, which ultimately deals with the acceleration of of your drone, while the second is the angular rate triad, which detects changes in rotational attributes such as pitch, roll, and yaw. If that explanation went right over your head, the IMU essentially compiles information and data to keep the drone balanced during flight. Many higher-end drones that DJI has released boast dual IMU and compass sensors for redundancy. The original Mavic Air, the Mavic Air 1, had two of these sensors for that very reason, but this time around with the Mavic Air 2, it doesn't have dual IMUs, which kind of leaves me scratching my head. It feels like a step in the wrong direction. So anyway, the times that you would need to calibrate the IMU include when the app prompts you to, which would be prominently displayed in the top left corner, before you fly your drone for the very first time out of the box, after any minor or major crashes, and if you find your drone just isn't flying properly. The frequency at which you perform these calibrations is entirely situational. There's some people out there that think you need to perform an IMU and a compass calibration before each and every single flight, although I find that to be overkill, so my method is to perform the initial compass and IMU calibration before my very first flight when I take the Mavic Air 2 out of the box. And then from there, I only calibrate them if I'm prompted to within the application. Typically, you'll be required to calibrate your compass a lot more often than the IMU. I usually just perform one IMU calibration and then I'm pretty much good for the rest of the time that I own the drone. But again, your mileage may vary depending on how you use this thing. So anyway, what I want to do now is get into how you calibrate these sensors, starting things off with the compass. So within the DJI I fly app, tap on the three dots in the top right corner, tap on safety, and then scroll down to the sensor section. Next to compass, you'll see its status, which right now is normal, and to calibrate, we simply tap on calibrate. Now we need to grab our Mavic Air 2 and follow the on-screen instructions. First, we spin the drone horizontally with the belly facing the ground, and then once prompted through the app, we move on to spin the drone around with the camera facing upward, so vertically. The app will let you know when the compass calibration has been completed, but just as a pro tip, you can actually refer to the back LEDs to determine what the status of your calibration is. If the light is yellow, that means you have to proceed with spinning the drone horizontally, but once the light turns green, it's time to move on to spinning the drone vertically. Once the lights begin blinking green, then you know you finished. Oh yeah, and another pro tip is that you can trigger a compass calibration by simply shifting the flight mode switch in the middle of the controller rapidly back and forth from sport mode to tripod mode, and it'll bring you to the compass calibration screen. Just to provide you guys with a few more tips on how to calibrate that compass before we move on, you want to make sure that you perform the compass calibration outside away from any metal or electronic object. So right now, inside with all my gear around me, it wouldn't be the best place to do a compass calibration, so I'd usually wait before I get outside to the spot where I'm going to be flying. All right, so anyway, moving on now to the IMU calibration, we again want to open up the DJI Fly application, tap on the three dots in the top right corner, then go to safety and scroll down to the sensor section. Upon tapping on calibrate next to IMU, the app will then give you directions on how to orient your drone, and once each step has been completed, Completed, you'll move on to the next step. With all the legs folded together, we'll start by leaving the drone on its belly, then we'll roll it over to the right side, then we'll flip it over to the opposite side or the left side, and then we'll stand the drone up on the back side, then we'll lay it flat on its top side so the bottom portion of the camera is pointed upwards, and then once the calibration is completed, the aircraft will restart. It's really important that you guys calibrate the IMU properly because if you don't, you could be left with a drone that doesn't fly properly. So for example, if you don't calibrate the IMU properly and you're just hovering there, the drone could drift to the left or to the right or any which way because the IMU wasn't calibrated properly. Or if you're flying the drone straight ahead and you want the drone to fly in a straight line, it could veer to the left or the right because again, the IMU wasn't calibrated properly. So I'll leave you with one tip, kind of like I did with the compass calibration 
calibration, make sure you perform your IMU calibration on a nice level flat surface. So right here in my studio, it doesn't matter if there's metal electronics, you want a nice dry flat surface and you'll get a proper IMU calibration. Now I know that everything can't always go as planned. So sometimes while you're out flying, you could get an IMU calibration right before you fly. So I recommend trying to find a case or trying to find nice level concrete to do that IMU calibration. And even if you get it done out in the field, you could always redo that calibration once you get back in a nice controlled environment so that the next time you fly, everything will be good. Anyway, that's pretty much everything you guys need to know about what the IMU and the compass do and how to calibrate them. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. I'm still kind of bummed that they didn't put a dual IMU in the Mavic Air 2. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It could have been manufacturing or a price thing. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.